Can you do CrossFit with keto? How does the ketogenic diet affect your CrossFit performance? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me this question and usually they think that it's impossible, it's not possible to do it because you're simply burning so much glycogen and it's so high, high intensity for you to stay well adapted on keto. But in reality, there's not much difference. You can indeed do the ketogenic diet with, with CrossFit and things like that, even at high intensities. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna share with you this clip from the Biohackers live show where we discuss these uh, recent new studies done on CrossFit athletes on a keto diet and how does it affect their performance. So check it out. So here are like two studies. Uh, the first one is released. Uh, or published on 2017, a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet combined with six weeks of CrossFit training improves body composition and performance. So, as you can see from this study, this has um, they had 27 non-elite CrossFit jobs. Uh, they um, were randomized into like control group or low carb ketogenic diet group. And the conclusions were that our data show that uh, LCKD combined with six weeks of CrossFit training can lead to significant decrease in body fat percentage, uh, fat mass, weight, and body mass index while maintaining lean body mass and improving, actually improving performance on the right. What do they mean by like improved performance? Uh, yeah, so there is, um, let's see from here. The performance was uh, in in the metcons and also in the strength type of uh, lifts. So there was no like no significant difference, a slightly better performance in the ketogenic diet group. And this other study showed also that it was a 12-week ketogenic diet while cross-training. Uh, there was... Uh, but improves in body composition without negatively impacting muscle mass and or aerobic, anaerobic or strength performance. So this study found out that there was there were no uh, performance benefits, but there were no like disadvantage. Hmm. But your body composition got like re really significantly better. So uh, it was done like in non non elite athletes as well. Like there were yeah, rec non recreational. Non -elite. Yeah, recreational athletes, non non elites. So this was like basically your uh, basic crossfitter. <laughs> so uh, and these these kind of uh, studies are coming like uh, mushrooms in in the rain. So <laughs> <laughs> I think like, w when it comes to crossfit, then uh, if you are doing doing it on a keto diet then uh, you're simply burning through though you're not burning that like that much glycogen on crossfit uh, either because uh, your your body can like i mentioned your body your your fatty acid molecules can be converted back into glucose and uh, th those going to be replenished with uh, muscle glycogen but with crossfit it may be simply that if you are doing it very intensely or if you're doing it very frequently then it may lead to simply an, a situation where you're simply overtaxing your body. And I would imagine if you are like a non-athlete, non-elite athlete, mm. then you, your body, you're not exercising that frequently or you're not, you're not doing it that often where you would actually need to replenish your muscle glycogen yeah. that fast. Yeah. Because it, you, don't even need, you don't even need to be eating anything at all for your muscle glycogen to replenish, refill itself. You can like, muscle glycogen tends to refill itself maybe within like, 24 to 36 hours and it's back full again simply because of your body fat being converted into glycogen yeah you're, you're like right on point on this uh if you're like elite athlete then i wouldn't go like uh just full ketogenic i would go with the target the ketogenic mm, and, yeah. and implementing the carbohydrates mm -hmm. around the workout but quite rare of us are like elite athletes who train two mm -hmm. to three times per day but many crossfitters actually are who who are like training competed for competitions so for those i wouldn't go like just pure ketogenic but targeted ketogenic diet and yeah. play with that in conclusion i'm going to also say that you know you don't need to be consuming a high amount of carbohydrates either if you're doing things like powerlifting weightlifting 
uh, gymnastics, calisthenics, or even ordinary bodybuilding because, yeah, fatty acids can be converted back into glucose and after you become keto adapted, then you're, you're going to become actually more glycogen sparing. You're going to burn more fat at higher intensities as well. And even if you do deplete your glycogen, then you can use these different strategies of either the targeted or the cyclical keto diet to, you know, take advantage of a short little time window where you are indeed very insulin sensitive and those carbohydrates can be used only for glycogen replenishment, not for fat storage. So that's one of the keys to gaining, to not gaining fat and to actually improving your performance or to gain muscle without getting fat on, on a very slow and consistent basis. So definitely check out the rest of the Biohackers Live Show, check out my books, Keto Bodybuilding, and also click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay ketotic, stay empowered.